In this video, we will talk about a connection between when a function is increasing and when it's decreasing and its derivative. So I want to begin by defining what it means for a function to be increasing and, and decreasing. So we see that f is increasing on an open interval from a to b if f of x1 is less than f of x2 for all numbers x1 and x2 where x1 needs to be less than x2 in the open interval from a to b. So let me draw a quick picture to explain what this is saying. So if this is a and this is b, this definition says if I take any two numbers x1 and x2 in this open interval where x1 is smaller than x2, what I need is I need f of x1, that's the y value at x1, if I draw that point, that y value needs to be less than the y value at x2. So the y value at x2 needs to be higher than the y value at x1. This definition is saying this has always got to be the case for any two numbers, x1 and x2, that I pick like this. The y value at x2 always has to be bigger. And conceptually, that will make my function have this increasing shape. All right, so I'm going to erase this and now go to the decreasing definition. This is going to be similar. f is decreasing on an open interval from a to b if f of x1 now is greater than f of x2. So the y value at the first point has to be bigger than the y value at the second point. And that's got to be the case for all numbers x1 and x2 with x1 less than x2 in the open interval from a to b. All right, so I want to do an example. So in this example, let me draw some axes and I'm going to draw a graph. So let's say that our graph looks something like this. And then it curves downwards and then it curves upwards like this. And let's say that the high point of this graph occurs when x is negative 2 and the low point occurs when x is 3. So if we look at this graph and I look at this first part to the left of where x is negative 2, where this function is increasing, it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as I move it to the right, I want to observe something about the tangent line. So if I pick some arbitrary point and I draw the tangent line, this tangent line has a positive slope. And I think it's clear to see that even if I were to move this point on a different part of this portion where it's increasing, the tangent line would still have a positive slope. Okay, so the key is that the tan when the tangent line has a positive slope, our function is increasing. And on the flip side, if I look at a portion like this on the graph, and I draw the tangent line here, this is a portion where the graph is decreasing and I look at this tangent line, this tangent line has a negative slope. And when my tangent line has a negative slope, our function is decreasing. Okay, and it turns out that is going to be the key connecting idea. All right, so that is going to be the heart of this next theorem. It says if f prime of x, if my derivative is positive, if it's greater than zero on an interval, then my original function f of x is increasing. It is increasing on that interval. And on the flip side, if the derivative, if f prime of x is less than zero, if it is negative on an interval, then the original function f of x is decreasing on that interval. So in the context of this example, in example one, our function f is increasing. It is increasing. I could just see it by looking at the graph on the interval from negative infinity to negative 2. So on the interval from negative infinity to negative 2, I'm going to put open, uh, I'm going to make all these open intervals. It turns out that is the convention I'm going to use, and I will make a note of that after this. But for right now, I'm going to use these open intervals. And then also on the interval from 3 to infinity. 3 to infinity is also going to be increasing there. And my function is decreasing. f is decreasing on the interval from negative 2 to positive 3. Okay, on that whole interval, all of those tangent lines are going to have a negative slope. And my function is decreasing there. Okay, so I mentioned I, will make, I wanted to make a comment about these intervals. So I want to talk about the convention. 
the convention that we're going to use is we will use parentheses, open intervals, for the intervals of increase and decrease. And later, when we talk about something called concavity, we will use it there as well. Okay. If we wanted to be really technical, sometimes I could have brackets at some of these points. I don't want to focus as much on, on the technical details like, like that here. I want to focus more on, on identifying, well, when is the derivative going to be positive? When is the derivative going to be negative? And we'll start to talk about that more in the next video.